welcome back. Today I'm doing a new makeup tutorial. I've been playing around with makeup a lot lately because I've been organizing my makeup collection and I just realized, wow, I have a lot of makeup. So I'm going to be doing a lot of makeup tutorials uh, just because I have a lot of makeup, I want to use it, I've been really inspired, and I just want to get better at doing makeup. So um, this look is actually the third time that I filmed it. And I tweaked it a little bit from previous pictures. I posted some on Instagram. Um, I took them down because I wasn't really that happy with that look because it was the first time that I tried out um, this palette, which is actually called Smoke Screen. It's from Sigma and it contains a lot of neutral colors. It has like this baby blue one, which is called a nebula and also misty which is this lavender so I decided to do a look using the baby blue one which is what we're doing here and I'm also excited because I wanted to use my cloud which is a baby blue pencil uh, an eye coal and this indigo bird which is a dark blue one so that's what we're using that was like my inspiration so if you have those colors in your makeup collection pull them out it's gonna be a lot of fun and of course it's gonna be like a full beat face look so it's like glam down something you just want to go all out and just have a lot of fun because makeup is all about just having fun and uh, some of the pictures do look a little bit different because um, I was wearing a white eyeliner at first wasn't really feeling the white so I ended up switching it to black um, and it looks a lot better so it's all about practice and just tweaking it and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started All right, so I'm gonna begin by taking the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and priming my top eyelid and bottom lash line, since we are gonna have color all around. And then next I'm gonna take this Dip Brow Pomade. Um, I believe it's an opera. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the brush is also from the same brand, and I'm just gonna use this to fill in my eyebrows. And you're gonna see the dramatic before and after. This product is really creamy and really easy to work with, but sometimes it kinda, I get a little carried away and my eyebrows look really, really thick. So I'm just gonna use concealer to clean them up and make them look as symmetrical as possible. So next I'm just going to take this eye pencil and it's in my cloud, it's from Sigma and this is just going to go on the bottom lash line and then once you do that you can just set that eye pencil with Nebula which is the baby blue eyeshadow from the Smokescreen palette and just sort of blend those colors together. Now to give it a little bit more dimension so it's not so flat just take a dark blue eyeliner pencil and this one is called indigo bird and that's just going to give it more more of a pop so it's not so flat and then next just take a black eyeliner and tight line and also line your waterline and next we're going to go into thunderhead and this is just a soft brown um, eyeshadow color that's going to go onto the crease and also extend it past the brow bone. This is going to be sort of like a transitional color also. And then you can take sort of like this gunmetal gray. This one is called Cinders. And I'm just taking a flat shader brush and patting that color on my entire eyelid. Now the highlight is not that noticeable, so you can take something that's either um, like a vanilla, like a matte vanilla, this one's called Veiled, or you can take something with a little bit of shimmer and then just apply that right underneath your eyebrow. And then here I'm just going to take a clean blending brush to blend out the blues um, from the bottom lash line just because this one does require a lot of blending so it's not so obvious. Next you just want to take your favorite liquid eyeliner and make a cat eye. Make sure you extend it close to the baby blue color from the bottom. I didn't mention this before but you want to make sure also the baby blue color is extended past um, the end of your eye so it's kind of winged out as well. And just make sure the black is sort of parallel to the blue. And then just add a few coats of your favorite mascara and now we can move on to the face.
So now we're going to move on to the face. Um, I'm going to start off by just taking the Miracle Blur and this is just to kind of even out my skin surface. And it's sort of like this face primer. It just makes your foundation go on a lot more smoothly and it looks a lot better. So I'm just going to put this around my nose. And then just spread it out like this. I also put on my lashes, which are 415 Black from Ardell. Um, and they're just like really small lashes in the inner corners and then they just flare out so they look really natural, you know? Uh, next, I'm just going to take my, uh, what, what is this? Maybelline Super Stay Makeup 24 Hour Wear Non-Transfer. Um, and I am in the color True Beige. And I am just going to, I'm actually almost out of it. I really like it. First, and I'm also going to take some Luminizer from um, Forever 21. This is the 24K, and I'm just going to put some in the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take this brush called Define Buffer. I'm so obsessed with this brush right now for foundation. It's from Soba. And I'm going to work my foundation and the Luminizer together onto my skin. the shape of this brush because the angle tip really allows me to get like right here in between my eyebrows and around my eyebrows and then just like the flat angled shape just really blends out your foundation really fast so it saves you a lot of time I used to be into like the stippling brushes like the 187 from Mac but that one just takes way too long for me as far as like blending out the foundation and stuff. And for concealer, I have to conceal um, and I am primarily going to use this to brighten up my face. This is the Nuance from Salma Hayek and this is a front and center concealer and brightener in one. I got shade medium and it's a really creamy stick. <clears throat> And I'm just going to put this right underneath my eyes like this. I'm not going to go too close into the blue because I don't want to mess that up. Um, but you can see right, like even without blending it, you can see instantly, wow, your face is a lot brighter. Between your eyebrows, kind of feather it out down the bridge of your nose. And I'm going to do a little bit on my chin. So this is the areas where the, the sun would naturally hit. Um... So it's going to reflect light and you're just going to look more bright and awake. I really recommend that you guys get some of these little latex free wedges because I've been using them to blend everything out as far as concealer. And the ones that are latex free are just, they just feel a lot softer. Like they're so soft. The ones that are not latex free, you can feel the difference. I've had those before. Anyways, I love these because I could just blend out my concealer really fast. That's if you don't want to invest in like the beauty blender. I mean, the beauty blender is amazing, but this works just as well. I'm going to take this one, uh, the Expert Face Brush, which is also another great foundation brush. This is from Samantha, by Samantha Chapman, right? Yeah, Real Techniques. I'm just going to use this to make sure it's well blended out in this area here. Right, so now you have the light. Um, next I'm going to take the Cameo Luxury Powder from Ben Nye. Um, I love this one. I actually really love the banana powder as well which is a little bit yellow. This one is more of a cream color. It's sort of pinkish but it's not like the pink powder they have. I'm going to take this brush which is a luxe highlight and I'm going to take whatever's on the lid first and this is going to be patted right underneath the eye where I have the concealer and here and then whatever's left I'm just going to you know work that into the rest of my face okay so next I'm going to take the contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it contains just a variety of different colors 
uh, highlights, setting powders, bronzers. I like to use this middle color, which is um, a great color for medium complexions. And I'm just going to take this uh, Sova Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. It's just an angled brush. And I'm going to take that color. Oops. And I'm going to work it upwards. Like that. Mm -hmm. I love makeup. I've been wearing a lot of makeup lately. Because... I realized I have a lot and I don't want it to go to waste like I'm just using it up and we're also going to work a little bit of uh, contour around the nose my nose is still swollen from the surgery that's why like when I turn this is like really circular and I, I know a lot of you ask me like is this supposed to be circular uh, no it's not does it have rhinoplasty when you get a nose job that's it just takes forever to heal up to two years for you to actually see full results so the one issue like when I first got my cast off my nose was so small because it you know the cast didn't allow it to swell up but now that my cast has been off and it's only been four months guys so I still have like at least a year until I'm st I start to see how it's really gonna look so uh, yeah this is really circular um, so I like to just contour the tip a little bit and I just bring this color like, you know, I make it look like this instead of a circle. And it's just an illusion with the powder that you can do if you have a wider nose and maybe you want to make it look a little bit slimmer. It all depends, you know. That's why magic or makeup is like magic. Because you can just transform your face. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so there you have that. And I'm going to take this brush, which is actually a face paint brush. Um, I love that it's like flat from the top and this would be great for contour. But I'm just going to take this without any product and just drag it along the sides of that contour color around my nose. And just kind of make sure that it's well blended so it's not visible. And then we're going to do highlight. I'm going to go back with this uh, Luxe Highlight brush. And I think I'm going to go in to this one here which has a shimmer this is kind of like banana from Ben I banana powder and this is gonna go ooh this is pretty it's highly pigmented as well so be careful because I overdid it I'm just gonna wipe off my brush with a little bit work that highlight all the way up Okay, and then we're going to do the lips. For the lips, I am going to do a neutral lip because we have blue going on. And I have two lipsticks. Let me see which one I want to use. These are both from Maybelline and they're from like the a nude collection. I forgot what it's called. But I think I'm going to go with... Hmm. Yeah, this is too light for me. I'm actually going to go with a, a Truffle Teeth which is more of a brown, brownish nude. The other one was too nude for me. Top it off with a lip gloss. This one is Get Ready Lip Gloss from Sigma and it's uh, called Get Ready. And I like that this one has like gold flex, like gold shimmer. Do you guys grow a lot of moles? I've been growing so many moles. I grow one right here, another in my lip. This one, this one, this one, I'm growing moles like crazy. And I'm not even in the sun a lot. Just gotta go to the doctor and get those checked out. I also started having contractions the other day without being pregnant, which was really weird. Like literally contractions I, I even thought I was gonna die I was like I'd rather be dead right now because I feel so much pain anyways this is the final look so excited about this because I thought it was gonna be really over the top because I filmed this video before and it ended up looking a little bit over the top so I had to tweak it a little bit oh so, yeah thanks for watching I'll see you guys in my next video bye